Hey, in the first video about the bullet trajectory, we talked about the lines of the weapon system and the ballistic curve. There are two terms that are important to know. The first is bullet drop. It does not include the elevation angle and it mostly used for comparison between calibers and muzzle velocities. And the second is bullet path or trajectory, which include the elevation angle and changes depending on the elevation angle. You can see in this picture that the line of sight crosses the bullet trajectory twice. First, at close distance, and the second time at the target. In farther distance, the shooter take more clicks, and the first crossing will be closer, and the bullet path will be steeper. In this video, we will explain what atmospheric condition the shooter need to take into consideration when shooting at long range. When we shoot at close distance, at a large target, we can consider only the distance and still hit the target. But at longer distance, depending on our caliber and muzzle velocity, we must consider more parameters. Wind is probably the most obvious, and it will shift the bullet right when it comes from the left, and the opposite when it comes from the right. When the wind comes from 12 o'clock, meaning from the front, it increases the drag and friction, and the point of impact will go down. And of course, wind from 6 o'clock will raise the point of impact. Temperature is also important for two reasons. First is the air density. When air is warm, the density is lower, so the point of impact will go up. And in cold air, the density is high, so the impact will go down. The second reason is the muzzle velocity. When the gunpowder is warmer, it increases the muzzle velocity, and impact will go up. So the two factors add to each other. Every powder reacts differently. Some are more sensitive and some less. But the principle is the same. The pressure also affects the point of impact. The higher the shooter is above the sea level, the less air there is. It means that the air density is lower. So the point of impact will go up. It can change in different weather conditions. So the shooter needs to take his kestrel to verify it. But the principle is the higher above sea level, the less density. Humidity also affects the air density. In high humidity, the point of impact will go up. It's not intuitive, but it's true. In close distance shooting, the effect is minor. But in extreme long range, the shooter need to take it into consideration. There is also the option of using temperature and altitude as a combining value to determine air density. This is referred to as density altitude, and some shooters prefer to use it. In angle shooting, the impact will always be high, no matter if you shoot uphill or downhill. The bigger the angle, the higher the impact shift. There are more effects like Coriolis aerodynamic jump, spin drift and more. But it's another topic for another video. Hope it was an interesting topic. So until the next video, have a good day or night. And bye.